about doing this as a job, though, is that you don't really know what you're going to be remembered for. You don't know exactly what's going to catch on. And this happened to me. I've been doing, I had been doing comedy for like four or five years, and then the lockdown came around, and I decided to spend my time locked in my house in New Zealand, dressing up as the New Zealand Prime Minister. <laughs> Jacinda Ardern. There's a, there's a few people going, you're not her? <laughs> no refunds. But that was an odd thing that that caught on here more than it did in New Zealand. Like, you guys loved it for some reason. I was at home and I was getting phone calls from Australian radio stations, like fucking <laughs> Fitzo and Blippi or whatever. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you guys call them, like. <laughs> in New Zealand, it's like, John and Karen. <laughs> and it's like, beep, bloop, and bop, boop. Uh... <laughs> anyway, I get phone calls from these Australian radio stations going, we love your Jacinda impersonation. Can you come on our radio show and do your impression? And I'm like, that's weird. Because in those videos that I made, I used makeup to make my face look like Jacinda, but I made no effort <laughs> to change my voice <laughs> whatsoever. I, I just have a New Zealand accent. <laughs> they were like, it's perfect. I was like, a gig's a gig. <laughs> Jacinda thing was weird, because I was no longer recognised as Melanie Bracewell. I would just sort of, you know, go about my life, and people would spot me and go, Jacinda. <laughs> I think I got her some votes, you know? <laughs> it would often happen at the club. <laughs> I just heard one go, go, ooh. <laughs> it, was a, it was an ooh of like, mm, you don't go to the club. <laughs> I dabble. <laughs> I tread the boards. <laughs> Pop a couple of antihistamines. <laughs> Sick. So I would often get recognised by very, very drunk women, but they'd only recognise Jacinda. They'd come up to me and be like, hey, Jacinda. I'm like, you, you seem like you're in a state to talk policy. <laughs> And then, you know, I know in that moment they don't actually think I'm Jacinda, but they're so wasted that I like to think that maybe the next morning, you know, in their hazy recollection of the night before, that they wake up pulling M&Ms from their McFlurry out of their bra. Just, <laughs> just going, yeah, I think I met Jacinda last night. <laughs> she was doing slut drops. <laughs> Retirement looks good on her. 